Father, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of our sins we have committed against you and against your creation. Father, I ask when I according to your word in Psalm 34, verse 7, that you camp your angels around all of us here in this broadcast, around our loved ones, family members, ministry partners, in-laws, ex-in-laws, and friends to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against us shall prosper in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And welcome everyone to another live edition of our day four of our seven day uh, um, financial miracle prayer campaign, curse breaking prayer. Amen. So uh, today is our day number four. If this is your first day, you can run the, the, the three days, you know, four, five, six, and seven, actually four more days. And then uh, you can go back and watch day one, day two, and day three. So you can complete your seven day campaign. Or if you just want to run it for three days, that's fine. Okay, here at least three days. But if you run it for seven days, I believe there will be more power to you. And I believe... I believe in greater miracles for you because it's a sacrifice. Sacrifice releases spiritual power. The greater the sacrifice, the greater the power. Okay? That's why when you pray and fast, you drive out demons easier than if you don't. Right? Sacrifice. Right? You are abstaining from food. That's a sacrifice. So you are running a campaign here for seven days. That's a sacrifice. Okay? Nothing is easy out there. Spiritually speaking, there's nothing easy. There's always a price to pay for something that you want. Through prayer, through fasting, through, you know, campaigns, prayer campaigns, you name it. You got to study the Word of God. You got to know what Jesus told his disciples. I always recommend people to study the New Testament. The New Testament. To study the New Testament, especially the words written in red the words spoken by jesus very very important for you to know what jesus spoke and and why he spoke that way and what was the the meaning of his preaching and teaching gotta know these things folks otherwise if you don't you can be hanging out at prayer parasite networks all you want guess what it's not going to be enough to set you free Jesus told his disciples in John 8, 31 and 32, If you are indeed my disciples, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So in other words, the Bible says that the truth will set people free. Okay, not deliverance prayer. Jesus never told anybody to beg for deliverance prayer. It's not found in the word of God. But what he said is, if you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Okay, all right. So I know some of you love to beg others for prayer, okay? But you don't do anything to help yourself, right? You don't know the truth. You don't study the Word of God, okay? You study Playboy magazines, yeah, but the Word of God you don't, right? Right? You spend time watching Netflix all the time, but you know, the Word of God, forget about it. But how do you expect to be set free? Okay, Satan is beating up his followers every single day, all day long. He torments his followers every single day. Who are, who are, you know, Satan's followers? Those who do not follow Christ. Those who do not study the word of God. Those are Satan's followers. Okay, if you don't follow Christ, well, guess what? Do you think you are following Obama? Obama follows, Obama follows Satan. Okay, if you do not follow Jesus, you follow Satan by default. You are Satan's follower by default. You don't have to work hard to follow Satan. All you have to do is do nothing. Do nothing spiritually, then you are already following Satan. So this campaign, you know, the purpose of this campaign is to help people break free financially. That is one area that Satan is destroying, left and right, right and left. He is destroying people financially. He keeps them broke and needy and lacking. Why? Because these people don't know the word of God. They don't know the promises of God. All they do all day long is begging others for prayer. 
and they think that others pray will set them free. I'm here to tell you right now, though they will not, you need to take action. In this campaign right here, do you think my prayer is going to do any good for you? Just the prayer itself? No, you got to run the campaign. Okay, you've got to take action. Your action is to run the campaign for seven days. If you want to see miracles, if you want to see greater miracles, if you want to see, you know, the hand of God come through for you. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, but some of you love to, you know, hang out at the prayer parasite network, listening to those prayers that they hide their faces and they read from a prayer book to impress you. Okay, now you think that they're speaking on, on their own. No, they're reading a book. They don't show their face. They're reading a book. They're trying to impress you to make money with Google ads. Okay, with YouTube ads. They're trying to impress you because you have little understand, understanding, so you don't see these things. You don't pay attention. Help yourself. Stand your ground. Okay? God has called you to stand your ground, not ask others to stand the ground for you. You do it. You do it. Okay? All you have to do is follow Jesus. Listen to him. Pay attention to his word. Amen? Okay? So now we're going to address financial demons. Okay? The scripture for this whole campaign is this one up here. They shall not appear before the Lord empty-handed. God had commanded men to appear before him for prayer and for sacrifices. And God gave them instructions. It's written in Deuteronomy chapter 16. God told them, told the leaders to tell the men, tell them not to appear before the Lord empty-handed. Now, if you are running this campaign for seven days, I recommend that you, you know, sow a financial seed, okay? Because that financial seed is going to work on your behalf. You don't have to do it every day. Just do it once for the whole seven-day campaign. If you want to do it more than once, that's fine up to you. But the requirement here in order for you, okay, to, you know, appear before the Lord, okay, with something in your hand, we only recommend that you do it once for the whole seven day campaign. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray now. And you can make a donation below here because we preach the gospel. We preach the, you know, we preach salvation. We preach deliverance. I've been doing this for 31 years. I have already helped people get rid of demons. Even my teachings can, can cast out demons. Why? Because I preach the truth. The truth will set people free. Okay, sometimes you don't even have to cast out a demon. Just by preaching the truth, the demons are already flying out. That's the way it is, okay? But you got to know what is out there for you from God. You've got to know, okay? You've got to study in order for you to know these things, okay? Do you think when I'm, I'm going through trials and tribulations, do you think I'm begging others for prayer? No, I know how to stand my ground. God taught me. I know how to dial God's number, Okay, why am I going to call a sister so-and-so, a brother so-and-so, an evangelist so-and-so to stand the ground for me when Jesus already taught me how to do it? Psh. Psh. All right, let's drive out demons right now, financial demons right now. Those that keep robbing you and stealing money from you and keeping you from succeeding in life. Okay, Satan keeps demons in your brain. Okay, making you watch, you know, video games all day long and Netflix and all that kind of stuff so you won't learn about his truth, Jesus' truth, okay? That's what Satan does. He keeps your brain busy on the internet looking at porn, okay? Signing up for dating sites. That's what Satan does to you he, because he has access to your brain because no one has taught you how to you know, stand your ground, how to, you know, learn how to be strong in the Lord. Got to learn these things, folks. You've got to learn these things, folks. The Bible says in the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and not to harm you. If we spirits who have been robbing these people right now, I command you to come out as they run this campaign, de devils. For seven days, devils. Devils, let me repeat that to you, okay? As they run this campaign for seven days, you know at the very last day of the campaign. You already know, demons, what to do, don't you? 
You already know that you have to pack up and leave. Don't you know that, demons? Of course you do. Of course you do. That's why you don't want them running this campaign for seven days, right, devils? That's why you are doing everything in your power to distract them, right? Right? Even this morning, some got distracted. They are not even here right now because they got distracted because you guys know what to do, huh? They don't, but you do, huh? Okay, all right. I'm just saying because I know, you know, demons, how you work. I know how you operate, evil spirits. That's why I'm going to arrest you right now, okay? I'm a demon cop. I arrest evil spirits. Okay, I handcuff them, I arrest them, and I drag them to prison. I'm a spiritual cop. Okay, amen. That's what I do, right, demons? Demons, you know that, don't you? You're smart folks. You know that. You know that I walk around with handcuffs, son, just waiting to see you so I can handcuff you, huh? Yeah, I do that just for fun. Yeah, just for fun. Right, devils? Because I know what I'm doing. I follow Christ. I don't follow Netflix. I follow Christ. Okay? I stand my ground. Okay? I don't beg others, you know, to stand my ground for me. I don't. I don't. They don't even know how to stand their ground for themselves. Okay? I don't. Right, devils? Devils, you know. Huh? You see this kind of stuff, don't you? All right. All right. Okay, I'm going to arrest you right now. I got the handcuffs here. Can you see them? All right, good, demons. All right, good. I'm going to arrest you right now, okay? For those people who made a donation here and are running this campaign for seven days, I'm going to handcuff you right now, demons, on their behalves, okay? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stretch out your hands now, demons, okay? I now handcuff you. I bind you. I restrain you and I pull you out of these people and I drag you now to the pit. I drag you now to eternal prison in Jesus' mighty name, evil spirits. Come out of these people right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out of these people right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to pull you out of them. Come out. 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 Come out, evil spirits. Come out, evil spirits, demons and devils. Get out of these people right now. Come out of them. Come out of them. Loose their lives. Loose their bodies. Loose their minds. And do not hinder money from coming to them. Do not stop that, devils. Do not get in the way now because I am commanding you by Jesus Christ. Okay? Take your nasty, dirty hands off these people's money and opportunities and employment and high income and that kind of good stuff, evil spirits. Stay away from these people running this campaign for seven days. Stay away from them. Are you listening, evil spirits? Are you? Of course you are listening. You listen very well. Very well. Okay, now you're handcuffed. You are restrained, you are bound, and you are arrested. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And all other spirits, the, the, the sexual demons, the, the alcohol and drugs and, and pornography, you too. Okay, sickness, disease, you too. Mental illness, you too. I arrest you, I handcuff you, I bind you, and I pull you out of these people, and I confine you now to eternal prison in Jesus' mighty name. Take a deep breath three times right now, folks. Come out, evil spirits. Come out, evil spirits. Come out, evil spirits. Say amen. Say amen. Now say this after me. Say, I am going to follow Christ. I'm fed up of getting beat up by demons. Okay? From now on, I will follow Jesus. And I will have victory in my life. Spiritually, financially, socially, family, and the like. And professional, and the like. Say amen. Amen? Now I'm going to pray for my ministry partners. Amen? My ministry partners are the smart people that sow financial seeds in this mission. Amen? 
Hallelujah. By the way, if you didn't make a, a financial donation here yet and you like to make after the broadcast is over, the moment that you make the donation, demons are going to be handcuffed automatically. Okay. They're going to be handcuffed. Okay. On autopilot. Amen. Praise God. Is that good news? Praise the Lord. Amen. You can go below the video to make a PayPal donation. Praise God. Below the video in the description area. Hallelujah. Let's pray now for my ministry partners. Father, I ask for now that you stretch your hands out towards all my ministry partners, those who sow financial seeds into this mission regularly. Father, bless them, prosper them. Raise them up to be mighty men and women of yours. Place a hedge of protection around them and keep your angels around them. Ride with them in their automobiles and transportations. Grant them favor with you, favor with men and favor in the marketplace. Heal the sick, set the captives free and save those that are not saved. Father, break of witchcraft, voodoo, black magic, hexes, vexes, word, curse, and evil eye, envy, jealousy, off of them. Father, grant them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Grant them ideas from heaven so that they can run with these ideas and succeed. Father, pay them back. Out of all that they have sown into this mission, blessings multiplied many times over, whether a hundredfold or a thousandfold or anything in between, or the amount that you have chosen to bless them with. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Yevareha Adonai Veish Mereha. Yaer Adonai Panaveleha Vihuneka. Isa Adonai Panaveleha Veyasem Leha Shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. God bless you now. Have a good day, folks. Until tomorrow with the day number five. Amen. God bless you now. Have a good day. Bye now.